I'm not watching this year's iPhone event. Want the latest Apple news leaks and rumors? Subscribe and ring the bell. Now, hold on. You might be thinking this is some kind of protest about uh, iPhones getting boring. It's not. Um, my new job <laughs> means that I'm going to be in a meeting throughout when the iPhone event was supposed to be going on. We've got our big team meeting and then we're out as a group. So, um, yeah. I'm going to be watching for the first time in a long time the iPhone 14 event a little bit late on September the 7th. So don't expect that I will be tweeting through it. I don't expect that I will be doing any sort of commentary. In fact, I'm going to try and shield myself away from it until I can actually watch it and then do a proper reaction. Um, but I'm actually kind of looking forward to it weirdly, although I obviously want to know what's coming as soon as humanly possible. I think this is going to be interesting because it means that I can actually focus on watching the event for once instead of trying to live tweet it, trying to make notes uh, like while it's going on in order to, um, to do the after show. So I'm kind of looking forward to it in a weird way, uh, being a little bit different this year, but it does mean that you're not going to be getting the live stream from me for this particular event. For the Mac event, almost certainly will do. That's the plan at least, fingers crossed. Anyway, let's get into some of your questions. Um, because that's probably a lot more important than this. James Apple asks, will my Apple Watch Series 8 Pro be able to talk to aliens? And actually, this is not a stupid question um, as much as it sounds like it should be. The Series 8 Pro um, does look like it's gonna be the more premium one, as we know, and we are looking at potentially getting satellite comms built into the new iPhones, but rumors suggest that it might be coming to the watch as well. And my thought is it might only be going on that more premium watch. Maybe that's part of the differentiating factor with it. And it would explain the idea of it being called the Explorer Edition, which had been mooted around a little while ago, whether that's still a name that's potentially going to happen or not. But Pro certainly, it sounds like, is going to be the kind of branding for it. But it might be that they kind of brand it as an Explorer watch where you can take it away from civilization and still be able to be in touch. That wouldn't be a bad shout. James Apple also asks, IK Advances, what are your thoughts on the new DeLorean EV car? Now, this is uh, an interesting one. I think the new DeLorean looks okay. Um, it's from the original designer of the first DeLorean, which is kind of cool. Uh, however, I think Hyundai has done a much better job of kind of bringing the DeLorean back to life and they weren't even trying to with the Envision 74 concept which is hydrogen powered which is probably its biggest downside because hydrogen is a terrible idea uh, as a way to power a car even though people will want to fight me for saying that battery just makes a lot more sense um, but look at this thing it looks incredible Marcin Kowalczyk asks I gave answers any recent news on how long Tim Cook intends to stay the big boss at Apple I remember there was quite a lot of talk about him retiring but suddenly all that news died out I'm wondering if you know anything now all of this came from I think it was 2020 or 2019 2020 somewhere around that where he did an interview and said that he doesn't expect to be at Apple for another 10 years like another decade as the CEO it might have even been 2021 um, and the reason I say that is because that would have been 10 years after he became CEO, uh, replacing Steve. I don't think he's in a rush. I think he does definitely want to get at least the next big new uh, product out the door. I feel like he might want to get Apple Car out the door as well, because that's the other obviously huge project that's been in uh, progress while he's been at Apple. I think that's what we're probably going to see is maybe around about 2027, 2028. That's probably as soon as we'd be uh, seeing uh, him go anywhere. John Malkin asks, I gave answers, will iPad mini always get an A series chip or will it become a big boy with some sort of M series chip? Now looking back in the past, you've got to remember that the uh, iPad mini and the regular iPads have always just had uh, an A series chip. Uh, the iPad Air did have the AX chips, but that was only because if you go back in time, that was like the higher end version of the iPad. It wasn't, we didn't have pros at the time. So I don't expect that we would be getting the M chips coming into the iPad mini or the base iPad. I don't think there's any need for them uh, because they're not intended to be used in the same way that an iPad Pro is. Uh, I'm surprised that we got M series chips, to be honest, in the iPad Air because now there's very little differentiation other than obviously the ProMotion displays and things like that between the Air and the Pros. Just doesn't make any sense. John Malkin asks, I gave answers, what are the odds of a Mac Studio slash Pro releasing in September, October, January? Um, I think we're definitely going to get a, a, an announcement at least of the Mac Pro because Apple teased it themselves in spring. However, 
I think we're probably going to get the Mac Studio update in uh, spring, so probably around March or April next year. I think we might well get a Mac Pro uh, being announced before the end of this year, maybe releasing about the same time as the Studio, um, but given the difference in the price points, I don't think it's one's going to affect the other hugely. Um, and if it does, then it's just going to spread out the money that would have been paid into one pot, into a couple of pots, and I think that's okay. Randomness R asks, I cave answers, what percentage chance do you think the AirPods Pro 2 have of making an appearance on September 7th? And will Apple redesign the packaging like they did with the third gen AirPods with the pull tabs that are much better than the AirPods Pro packaging with a plastic wrap? I think we've got a pretty good chance of getting the uh, AirPods Pro on September 7th. It makes a lot more sense to me getting them then than getting them on uh, an October event because they're more of an iPhone accessory than a Mac accessory, I think, for the vast majority of people. Um, so Apple would want to put this very consumer thing next to the iPhones so that more people who consume might see it. Uh, Packaging-wise, yeah, absolutely think they will do, even when I picked up... Uh, this little dongle the other uh, yesterday it also now comes with the, uh, the the pull tabs so yeah definitely seems to be the way that they're going random as our side cave answers will apple change the design of the airpods for soon and when can we expect them no don't think so i think uh, they only came out last summer last spring um so i think we've still got another at least a couple of years left with this design uh, and this generation i don't think they're even going to do any internal updates and i think once they actually change uh, to the next version of the AirPods, the AirPods 4, they're probably going to still look the same. There's no reason for them to change the look because, uh, you know, they're designed to fit in people's ears. Um, ears aren't changing shape that much. And keep the stems. I don't want people to get rid of the stems. The stems look good. Random Nassar, iCave answers, when do you think we'll see a massive iPhone, Apple Watch and AirPods battery improvement? What technology could make it happen where devices last two to three days? What year and processor would allow this type of battery life? I don't think we're ever going to see that. I'll be honest with you, I don't think uh, it's a priority for anyone. I don't think uh, you would particularly want a two to three day battery, uh, even though you think you do. Uh, I think that the fact that things last for a day is okay. If they were to make it last two to three days, it would be a lot bigger. Um, the processors being upgraded, we like to have devices that do more rather than just last longer. So I don't think you would actually want a device that lasted two to three days. And also it then takes you out of your sequence. Like uh, if you were to go to a, a charging sequence where you charge it every two to three days instead of every day, then it's going to get out of sync and it'll sort of fall on a weekend sometimes and sometimes in the midweek and I, I think it's actually going to be more of a hassle um, but I don't think Apple has any intention of going to two to three day battery life mainly because they like to keep their devices nice and small with as good performance as possible so I think things are designed to last for a day and then you recharge them and that's okay everything other than that is going to be a compromise and it's all about compromises it's all about balancing between battery life versus um, size of device versus weight versus uh, heat output versus everything else and apple is good at just getting the sweet spot right and that's what they do and that's why we like their devices thank you so much for watching guys the, that's the end for this episode thanks to the patreons over here and i will see you in the next one want the latest apple news leaks and rumors subscribe and ring the bell